Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the Ruffle Heart Garland. This is a fun and festive little garland for Valentine's Day, or you can do yours in other colors for every day. And it's basically just, uh, we've done a chain. Mine's short, if you wanna make yours longer, I will show you how to do that in this video. But they're little circles. Each circle measures about three and a half inches across. And then I've added a um, pretty scallop and we've attached a heart to the front of each one. And then I've done a, a pattern across. So for this project, you'll need a six millimeter J crochet hook, a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and your yarn. I used any worsted weight yarn you would like to use is fine for this project, or if you wanna look at your yarn label and find something that recommends a J-hook. If you do go up a hook size or uh, thickness in yarn, just look for the recommended hook size. And if you do use thicker yarn and a bigger hook, obviously your circles will be a little bit bigger. So you, you can be pretty flexible with this pattern. I used Red Heart Super Saver for mine in the perfect pink, cherry red, and white for the garland that you see here. So let's get started. We're going to begin our garland by making one of these hearts. Now I like to kind of uh, make my colors into a pattern. So I already have two of these pink hearts with the red edging. So I'm gonna make another one of these in this tutorial, a red heart with pink edging, okay? So I'm gonna take my red yarn and make this center heart, which will later be um, attached to this circle. Okay, so what we're gonna do to make the heart is get the red yarn or whatever color you would like to use, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your crochet hook, and bring up a loop, just like that. To make the heart, we're going to chain four. To make a chain, wrap yarn around hook, and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four. In the chain farthest from the hook, we're going to work a slip stitch. Insert the hook into the chain farthest from the hook and bring up a loop. Bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook and then you have a loop. You might need to kind of open it up a little bit. Next, we're going to work the heart will be constructed starting here, coming around this side, around this, all the way down to the point and back up. So we're going to begin by working a double crochet into the center of the ring. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around the hook, insert it into the center of the ring, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the last two loops. If you wanna practice some stitches, this heart is a great project. Next, we'll make a treble crochet into the center of the ring. Wrap yarn around hook two times, insert the hook into the center of the ring, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. And if you notice, I'm kind of pushing my stitches over. We're gonna put lots of stitches into the center of the ring. Work another double crochet. Then we'll work a slip stitch. Insert the hook into the center of the ring, bring up a loop. Bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And then we have our first side of our heart. We're gonna do the same thing. Work a double crochet. Work a treble crochet. And another double crochet into the center of the ring. Next, we're going to work three single crochets to come down the side of our heart. Insert the hook into the center, bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. That's one, 
two, and three. Okay, so the side of our heart is done. Now we're gonna do the bottom point. And that's gonna be worked by doing a treble crochet. So wrap yarn around hook twice, insert it into the ring, bring up a loop. Yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Yarn around hook, bring through the next two loops. Yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Then the last side will do three single crochets. So one, two, and three. So our heart is pretty much complete, but we need to close it. So into that next stitch you come to, just work a slip stitch, just like that, okay? We're gonna shape our heart up a little bit. It looks a little um, rumpled at the moment. Okay, so all we're gonna do, now this part here, I want you to leave a long tail, like 12 inches or so. We're gonna use that to sew the heart onto the circle later, so you don't have to cut a new piece of yarn. So go ahead and fasten that off, leave this tail intact. However, the tail that's on the back here, and I held this along the edge as I worked, so that um, got woven in as we went along. So take this tail, pull it tightly, and trim. That will get rid of that tail, but also we closed up the center a little. It's still a little open, but that's okay. So we're just gonna shape up our heart, leave this tail intact for later, get that point nice and sharp, get the top, Get that, that divot nice and um, shaped up, okay? So our heart is complete. We're just gonna set it aside. And then we're going to make this circle um, shape next. Our circle is constructed by making a white circle. And then we're gonna add a pink scallop, a super simple scallop to the edge. Again, any colors you choose, if you wanna change up the colors, totally fine. Okay, so we're gonna take our white yarn, and to make the circle, we're gonna start with the, the white part and work out. So to make the circle, we're going to um, put a slip knot on our hook, and then we're going to, just tighten it a little, then we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. Now, same way we did our heart, we're going to work a slip stitch in the chain farthest from the hook to make a ring, just like that. I'm gonna hold this little tail along the edge as I work. That will weave that in as we go along. So to make the first round, our circle has two rounds. So to make the first round, we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Then we're gonna work 11 double crochets into the center of the ring. So again, to make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the ring, bring up a loop. Yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. So this chain three that we did counts as one of our double crochets. So we're gonna work 11 double crochets and then including that chain here, we'll have 12 um, wheel spokes, if you will, okay? So that's, we're gonna do 11, so that was one, then two, then three, then four, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. Now what I like to do at this point before I join to close this circle is to count. So you should have 11 double crochets plus this, this starting chain, okay? So the starting chain, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, okay? So our count is correct, and we're gonna go ahead and insert the hook into that, that chain three that we began with, 
and work a slip stitch and that will close our circle. Okay, what I like to do, you can do this at any point, but what I like to do is to pull this tightly at this point and trim this tail. I like to have my tails out of the way as I work. Okay, so let's move on to round two. We're gonna stick with the white yarn for round two and um, chain three to work round two. Then in the same stitch right here, we're going to work a double crochet. Then for the remainder of this round, we're going to work two double crochets in each stitch. So here's the first stitch, two double crochets. So that's one and two. So we're gonna do this all the way around the circle. So what I'm gonna do is keep going, and then once we get towards the end of this round, we'll rejoin. So we're coming up to the end of the round here. And again, we just work two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So when we get to our round, uh, we need to close it. So just work this um, chain three that we did at the beginning. Just work a slip stitch into that to close off the round. So it'll look just like that. So we're ready to move on to this simple but pretty edge. It's like a little scallop that we've done, okay? So what we're gonna do is with your scissors, just cut the yarn and we can move the white yarn aside. We're finished with that. And then go ahead and fasten off in the white. Okay, we can leave this tail intact because we're going to weave it in as we go along. Okay, so I made a red heart. So I'm gonna go with the pink scallop as a contrast. Now you could do red heart, red scallops, uh, whatever you choose. But I'm gonna mix mine up, make sure I have a pattern going. So I'm gonna do a pink scallop for mine. So with the pink yarn or whatever color you want, you're just going to insert the hook into any one of these chains. Now in other videos, if you've watched other videos of mine, I don't insert it into this, the one with the tail. I don't do it right there. I kind of back up a little bit. That way as I weave in the pink as I go along and the white as I go along, it doesn't get too bulky. So you can really, when you're changing colors like this, you can really insert the hook and, and tie the new yarn on into any stitch you want. If you have a preferred method of joining yarn, feel free to do that instead. This is the way I like to do it. I just like to tie it off and tie the new color on. So insert your hook into any of the stitches. Again, I like to back up a little, but that's just me, total personal preference. Take the new yarn and pull it through that stitch, and then you can just tie it right on. Super, super easy. Okay, just like that. Now, holding your little tail along the edge here, insert your hook back into that stitch and bring up a loop. So what you're gonna do to begin your scallop is chain three. One, two, three. Now in that same stitch, you're going to work a double crochet, just like that. In the next stitch, you're going to work a slip stitch. Insert the hook into the stitch, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook, okay? We're gonna keep repeating this sequence all the way around our circle. So the next stitch, work two double crochets. Because this chain three when we begin, count it as one of the double crochets. So the next one you'll work two double crochets. So two double crochets slip stitch into the next stitch. Into the next stitch after that, work two double crochets. Again, we're holding our tails in as we go along. Two double crochets in that stitch. Into the next stitch, work a slip stitch. And the next stitch, work two double crochets.
Okay, let's see what we have so far. Our scallop is starting, you may need to straighten it out a little. Our scallop is starting to emerge. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going with my slip stitch into the next stitch, two double crochets into the next stitch. I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around. I wanted to point out here too, our tails are getting, well at least this one is getting pretty short. So at any point you can stop flip your project over and trim those tails. And then you don't have to deal with your tails anymore. And then you can kind of straighten that out, make those disappear. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going all the way around, two double crochets, slip stitch, two double crochets, and a slip stitch, okay? So I'm just gonna keep going and we're gonna rejoin in just a moment. So I'm just coming up to the end of the round. And again, we work two double crochets, then a slip stitch. Two double crochets, then a slip stitch. All the way around. Okay, and I'm just finish up, finishing up the very last scallop. Okay, slip stitch to finish it off. We can fasten off our yarn, just like that. Now if you wove the ends in as you went along, you'll just have this one tail left. You can kind of at this point straighten out your scallops a little bit, get it nice and flat. And take your tapestry needle, thread the yarn. If you need to make a fresh cut like I do, feel free. Mine kind of came apart there. There we go. Sometimes when you're working yarn, it, it splits a little. Okay, so then you're gonna weave it in, and I wanted to give a tip that when you're weaving in um, a project that has multicolors, always weave the same color into the same colors. For example, I'm weaving the pink into the pink. I'm not going into the white area because it uh, could potentially show through onto the other side. Okay, so I just wove that in. I'm gonna trim. And if you notice, I wove in one direction and then came back in the other direction. Okay, so we're just gonna get that all nice and straightened out. Then you'll grab the heart that we've made earlier. Trim if you need to. Thread your tapestry needle. and you can sew the heart right onto the circle that we've made. Okay, so our tapestry needle is threaded. Just position your heart the way you want it to go, and then just go right down into the circle. Come up, and go back down. You're gonna do this all the way around the heart to quickly sew it on. And leaving that tail on helps, but if you didn't leave a tail on, that's okay. You can just use an extra piece of yarn that you have. Just go all the way around. So our heart is attached. So then you can just come in from the back here like this, make a loop, bring your needle through the loop to make a knot. Okay, and then you can just kind of weave that in a little bit. This is gonna be the back side of our garland, so we're not gonna see it a whole lot. Okay. So then our heart and circle is complete. So now ready to assemble. Now I'm just going to do four for my garland. 
but you can make as many of these as you like if you want it to stretch across a whole mantle or a mirror in your house or a window. I'm gonna do four. Again, you can do as many of these as you like. So let's assemble our garland next. You'll want to lay your circles out in the order that you want them to be in the finished garland. So I did an alternating red heart, pink heart, red heart, pink heart to make a, a pattern like that. Okay, so what you wanna do is select a color. I'm gonna do red for my, there's going to be, it's actually gonna look more like this. There's going to be a string across the top. So you wanna pick a color. You can do white, red, pink, whatever color you've used for the project, and then take your crochet hook. Then you're going to put a slip knot on your hook, and then you're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I wanted to say for this garland, I'm gonna chain eight. If you want a longer, uh, this is gonna be on the side here to hang it. If you need this to be longer, you know, make more chains. I'm also gonna be putting eight chains in between each circle. So if you want more chains, or more space, I should say, in between each circle, or less space if you want them touching. Just uh, experiment with more or less chains. I found that eight chains worked well for what I needed, okay? So I chained eight, and then you're gonna locate, look at the first circle, and locate the topmost scallop of your circle. And if you look closely, there's gonna be two stitches at the top that kind of form a point, okay? You can see, let me show you with my tapestry, you know, you can see the first stitch here and the second stitch here, okay? So we're gonna work a single crochet into each of those stitches. So the topmost scallop and those two topmost stitches. So just insert your hook. This will make your garland lay nice and flat to do two stitches like this. So insert your hook and bring it through, yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. Do the same with the next stitch. Insert your hook, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through both loops. Okay, we have the first circle. Next, chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get your next circle, find that topmost scallop, insert your hook into the first topmost stitch. and work a single crochet. And insert your hook into that next little stitch at the top and work a single crochet. Just like that. Then you're gonna chain eight. One, two, get some more yarn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to the next circle. Find the topmost scallop, insert your hook into that first topmost stitch, and work a single crochet. And that next topmost stitch, single crochet. Okay? Again, there's two of these very top stitches that you're going to be working into. Okay? We're almost finished. So chain eight. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab the next and last circle. Find that very top scallop. Find those very top stitches. Work a single crochet into that first one. A single crochet into that next one. Okay, so I wanted to just show you how um, Mine are spaced apart, okay? They're pretty close together. If you want them farther apart, just work more stitches in between, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to finish it off, okay? Then cut the yarn and fasten it off. We have one little thing to do before we finish. We're just going to weave the end in on either side of our hanging string here, our hanging chain, I should say. 
Okay, so just come in the best you can. It's a little fiddly because it's just a chain here. Just bring the yarn through. You don't even have to come the other way. Just get it in there as best you can. Okay, and then trim that off, and then we're going to do the same for the other side. And again, my hearts, garland, my circles are pretty close together. So again, if you want yours farther apart, just work more chains in between. Okay, and then we're just going to do the same for the other side. So just kind of weave that in the best you can. Pull that through. Trim that string. Okay. Okay. So it's looking pretty good. Very festive for Valentine's Day. Okay. So that is how you crochet the ruffle heart garland. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.